Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we need knowledge. There's just so many amazing mods that I want to unlock. I mean, I want to get mechanism generators so we can have an insane amount of FE production. I want to get easy villagers because, I mean, who wouldn't want to get easy villagers? I want the phytogenic insulator because who wouldn't want the phytogenic insulator? I want Batania because you could farm so many cool things with Batania. I want Batania so bad. I want backpacks mod because backpacks are so cool. I want colossal chests. I mean, I could have colossal chests right now, but I still want colossal chests in addition to everything else because look at all the storage. Modular routers, torch master, snad, easy piglins, mob spawners, mining gadgets, building gadgets, digital miners. Ah, there's so many good mods and they all cost so much knowledge. So we need to start stepping up our living chess game. Oh, and don't even get me started on automatic genius. We have a pretty decent array of living catalysts. The problem is like chunky mobs. Now two, two times frail, absolutely not. Two times wild, I don't really want to. Now trapped is kind of bad, but I believe I do have actually if you an eye of avarice but it exhausts the crystal, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, you have to be really careful with it. Okay, it looks like we're just going to have to live with the fact that we're going to have chunky mobs. I'll take the chunky mobs one. I, I don't want to do frail. Frail's horrible. Uh, I guess furious. Furious is hard. Trapped is, I don't know. If we get, like, crazy lucky, I'll take this eye of Avernus and apply it. Is that, is that, a oh, Avarice. I keep saying Avernus, like the layer of hell. I will say with the Frail Vaults, I did take another level of Unbreakable. We had a bunch of Skill Orbs, uh, or a bunch of uh, Black Opal and Skill Essence. So we have 14% additional on all of our gear, but still, it's just so much. Uh, I'm going to add Chunky Mobs first because it's really not that bad. All right, only 5% instability. Let's, like, let's get more than three times. Okay, last time we did this, we got so silly. Oh, really? 25%? Mm, and I went in stable. All right. Well, then I'll imbue this next one with a wild, a what? oh, I get, aw, trail. Don't exhaust this. Don't exhaust this crystal, please. Okay, tier two slow is sad, but uh, we could negate the frail with more levels. Oh man, if this, if, if enchanting these crystals is any indication of how this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, two chunky, one furious, one wild is not gonna be easy. And uh, four living, two wild, one frail, one trapped, but trapped doesn't matter. Uh, Looter's Dream is nice, slow tier two is not nice. Do I have a slowness immunity idol? No, I have a poison immunity idol. Maybe we do some idol crafting. Crafting. Yeah, we have a ton of blessings. All right, give me slowness immunity, baby. Or like maybe like super high resistance or something. Um, nope. 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 And they're all scrappy. You know what? I feel like it'll be a sin to get rid of that weakness three cloud, but I am going to roll this idol. It's a very good idol. It's rare. And I just don't think weakness three plus cloud is going to be better than some of the other stuff we can get. There it is. Slowness immunity. Hey, perfect. Perfect. So if that's a problem on the other guy, we have it. All right, let's start with the super difficult mob one, because why not start this off with being battered around? I'm going to change our uh, b b hunter into living, of course, and uh, got my idol, I got my shield, I got my armor, I got my chutzpah, let's do this! Oh, I hope chutzpah is going to be able to bring me through this one. I forgot there was wild on this. How did I immediately forget there was wild on this? Yeah, I don't really care much about the... Uh, the objective here. Oh, but look at this. Oh, do I have my proper magnet on? Good, 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 good. All right, I think first thing we focus on is the wild, because these guys are going to be hitting like a truck and taking hits like trucks. Gotta say, though, this place is covered in living chests. Ooh, lag. Ooh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's not just going to be knowledge that we get from this vault. It's going to be mystery eggs that I'm probably going to turn into hostile mystery eggs, because we really need some hostile mystery eggs. Uh, it'll be burger parts for our mini-me, who is going to become in great effect against the more difficult mobs. Um, I just want to see, like, how bad are we talking with the... I mean, manageable. I'll say mobs are manageable, though they should probably be avoided as much as possible. 
I'm going to be sticking to like the main levels as much as I can. You can see they're completely full of living chests. Though I forgot to pop my hunter. I'm going to be using hunter for dungeons? Actually, no, probably not. Why would I want to do a dungeon with two times chunky, one times furious? That sounds like a death wish. Definitely think I'm going to stick to like surface level easy peasy ones because I am afraid of the ghosts more than anything. Definitely gonna have to go on a gilded chest run uh, after this one for knowledge stars because we're, what is it, a half stack of vault diamonds now? Yeah, that's not gonna be very helpful. Oh, and hey, I know I haven't said this in a little while, but we're getting really close to a thousand subscribers and I'm trying to hit that by the end of the month. This is like home stretch. We're almost there, but you know, it's gonna take, I believe, a uh, 112 of you, which admittedly is still a lot of people, but if you're liking the content so far and you want to claim your before 1000 ticket or whatever they call it, uh, please do. It'd be much appreciated. We've got an awesome community going on here. There's Let's Play videos, there's guide videos, there's mostly videos of all kinds on the channel. Thousand subscribers. I'm gonna stop talking about this now. Ooh. Oh, is that a dungeon? I, I did say we weren't going to be doing one, but like, oh no. Oh, I was like, how did that happen? I forgot that we weren't on our looter's dream one. Our looter's dream one is the super wild, isn't it? Pretty sure. Uh, I will try the dungeon because I am greedy. Oh, great. That's not good. This is how I've died before. We not. Why would I want to do a dungeon with two times chunky one times furious that sounds like a death wish nope 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 we get these we're balling mini me you uh you just have a grand old time up there okay i'm gonna i'm gonna relax please don't leave me mini me no no all right there's a lot going on up there but it's nothing that we can't handle because we are having the power of oh no mini me is still around so we do still have the power of friendship excellent that's right, I forget that Eternals are super buggy right now. Oh, that was one of the worst bucket clutch fails I've ever had. Glad the super awesome shield was here to save me, because otherwise that would have been... Well, I guess that was just as embarrassing. Oh my gosh, we are full of living chests on this one. Hey, four times living. Very hard to complain about four times living, and I'm excited to see four times living with um looter's dream because that should be a pretty crazy time well, i doubt that we're gonna get that many trapped chests in this vault you know what i'm thinking about right now for no real reason uh, plants versus zombies just a, just a classic game right i mean I, I suppose i don't know if i don't think it is classic and like the actual definition of classic but definitely was an industry defining one what a lovely game to be an industry defining game you know what i mean i know like I know there's always a sentiment of like, ah, you know, the years before my time were very good, but I was, I was a kid when Plants vs. Zombies was out and new, and that was just like, that was the thing to play, and you were like, oh, mom, mom, or dad, dad, you know, I, uh, there's this new game, it's on the phone, it's Plants vs. Zombies, I really want it, it's only a dollar, whatever, you know, and, um, you know, that was like your, that was like your thing that you got at the time. And it was just like, what a what a simple and fun time. And how terrible is it that nowadays, like, mobile games became what they were because, like, companies only really saw how much money they could make off of them rather than, like, what an incredible genre of video games they could be. Because, I mean, ah, Plants vs. Zombies 1, not 2. We're not talking about the second one here. We're talking about the OG, talking about uh zen garden talking about crazy dave you know the golden era of, of of video games which i feel like i don't know may, maybe maybe it's mostly just sentiment but i really love that game <gasps> no way no way is this the mushroom room <laughs> this is the mushroom room yes they redid the mushroom room uh to make it not actual garbage and well, <laughs> look at all the living chests. Oh, we are having a good time today. This is, this is as good as it gets.
All right, well, that was lovely. I mostly feel that I got everything. I mean, I, I can't say for sure if I got everything or not. There's so many chests, but I really, really, really like what they did with the mushroom room because it used to be just like everything was so invisible when you went into it. It was so hard to see what you were looking at, which is not very fun. There were two eggs in that one. Ooh, a double egg. Oh, yes. I love watching the screen just explode. Explode with living. Very fun. Oh, boy. I, I, wow. Watching that Zombo spawn in. A little scary. And ace and 20% item rarity. Well, I should have taken that after dispatching of the big boy. All right, let's see. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to open up the chests, but not loot them to just get the item ready. There we go. All right, now, Zomboni, your rule is at an end. Ow. Get stunned. What the heck? Thank you. All right, well, that felt really, really good. Let's see. What's the grand total? Give me the number. 9,800. 140 chests looted. 134 living chests in a single vault. What even? That's how we do it in the DJJ channel. We get these. Now the big question. <laughs> 308 knowledge essence. 10 mystery eggs, 165 skill essence, <laughs> 30 burger pickles. What? What? <laughs> That's so cool. Well, we're going to be getting a lot of uh, soul shards out of this. I wonder 10 zombie brains, 4 creeper eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think I need to worry about anything for the frail ball. Uh, I think I'll... Be ballsy about it. Uh, okay, so this one does have slowed on it, which is something we're going to want to uh, be careful of. But otherwise, I think we're ready. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, we're ready. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. Of course I get the strays. Oh, I have a key on the line. And absolutely, we are doing slowness immunity. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh instantaneously yes on that we're just gonna have to be very very careful uh i'm just gonna skip this room um dang it okay so for those of you who don't know i have been in purgatory with one of my bounties which is to kill 35 strays because in the amount of vaults i've been running and i've been running a lot of them off camera i have yet to find a winter theme vault so of course, naturally, uh, what I want to do here is to just camp out strays. Uh, because, you know, I want the key. But we're here for knowledge. Knowledge. Ah, I'll do the grown-up thing and get the knowledge. We spent catalysts on it. I'm not gonna, not gonna squander my catalysts. Oh, hello, Factor Room. We're gonna go around you. I definitely doubt this vault is going to be as good as the last one. First of all, we just haven't been having like as much luck with the chests, to be honest. Uh, these, it, the vault's a lot more dangerous because of the idol instead of the shield. Oh my good lord. Um, there's more wild. Eh, you know what? I'm complaining. I Maybe it will be as good. Well, okay. I don't think it's going to be possible to beat the Omega room we found four times living. But, uh, it's still, it's still gonna be a very good vault. I mean, look, 300 essence in a single vault. How many? Oh, it's a crystal cave, really? <laughs> what is it with crystal caves, huh? What is it with crystal caves showing up whenever I am doing a run for something other than a crystal cave? And the second I'm like, man, I just need some Laramar. Let's run crystal caves. Yeah. Speaking of... Iskal's talking about, like, redoing, um, ores and stuff, and part of that is he suggested removing Laramar from Crystal Caves, which I think is a very bad idea. Uh, I think Crystal Caves should be a great way to get Laramar, because, I mean, what other ore do you need more of than Laramar, right? I mean, 
it is nice that this world of scavenger it's going to be really cool to have a ton of knowledge uh, or not knowledge a ton of soul shards because soul shards uh, the soul shard shop rather can roll entire knowledge stars and those are really really helpful to pick up so uh we'll probably do like mystery egg rolling as well as soul 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 shard soul sh black market it's called the black market okay We'll do black market cycling as well to see if we can get anything really nice and good. Because, you know, the apples convert very well in the soul shards. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the mushrooms. The, the, what, is that what they're called? Like the little f mushroom guys? Poisonous mushrooms convert very well into soul shards as well. Boy, I am just eloquent today, huh? I have to say, this is a pretty good theme to have a high level of wild on those. Because these guys love to, or these guys being the vault dwellers just love to run right into the powdered snow you just kind of get stuck there so you don't have to deal with them sometimes they'll throw bricks at you which is annoying but it's not like they're killing you i feel like i'm legally obligated to do x mark rooms actually to be fair this guy has all of its chests up top i mean yeah i'm gonna do the x mark room because not that we're necessarily in a bad place with loot but i'm pretty sure with year but i'm pretty sure we're getting uh up to our next like armor or damage tier i can't remember that ah, no i'm not gonna do it it just it makes me feel bad i'm so greedy when it comes to ornate chess i love gear crafting but we're here for knowledge oh the knowledge grind i i have been a knowledge chest for so much i have to say this is far more present than speed running eight knowledge stars over the course of two very frantic and upsetting hours um so i'm having a much better time with living chests just kind of scattered all around the vault i thought there was a living chest up here it was just leaves i've been fooled i've been tricked i've been bamboozled and hornswoggled and here's a puzzle room to tempt me further oh only if there's no green piece, but there's always green pieces. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I have I have gilded affinity. I, you can't not. You can't not. I mean, just look at this thing. It's so easy. It's it's so free. It's right here. It's right in front of me. All right. It'd be an actual crime. I have gilded affinity. We have looter's dream on. Okay. How am I not going to do this? Okay, suck up all the items. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No more messing around. We're here for guilty chests. Nope, we're here for uh, uh, living chests. Ignore what I just said, vault. Living chests. No, vault, vault, living chests, not guilted chests. I corrected myself. Yes, there's many living chests in here, but the problem is these guys are going to be pouring out of the walls. There's so many mobs in these rooms. But it's a big flat area for living chests to spawn in, so you know I'll, I'll take the uh, the bait. Oh boy, never mind. I'm not taking nothing. I'm getting out of here. Leave me alone. I'm a scared boy. I'm a scared little boy. Really, a second X mark room? I mean, I'll take it for the living chests. Okay, I'll take it for the living chests. But this is getting out of hand. What the heck? What the what the freaking heck is even going on here? Hmm. Okay. All right, man. We could be so loaded on ornates, or you know what? Maybe they're all failures. I'm just gonna gaslight myself into thinking that every single one of these X mark rooms would have been a failure. So uh, I'm actually saving a lot of time and gaining a lot of loot. Can I make it? I can make it. Yeah. Yeah. 169 chests. Funny number. Did we do even better? 144. Ooh. 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 We get these. I'm so cool. And drumroll please on the knowledge. Ta-da. 361. Did you? Did you? Did you? That's 660, like nine, I think. Knowledge in a single episode in two vaults. Oh, we also got some runes. Uh, Xmark rune, quite good. And Crystal Caves rune, quite good. Terrible jewel, very good jewel. Terrible jewel. Terrible jewel. All right, 675 knowledge essence turns into 75 shards, giving us a total of 12. That's quite close to mechanism generators. So, uh... 
definitely gonna want to do some cycling here though i'm going for the repair core because i love buying repair cores and let's dump all of our soluble things and let this thing do its business oh let's see how many skill shards we can make 35 good lord that's amazing five full skill points ah that's so good because in three levels we are going to be able to unlock the next level of unbreakable granting us an additional seven percent over what we have and i gotta be honest our stuff took very little damage in that vault even despite it being a frail vault where i got kicked a bunch all right let's feed this guy some burgers because we are going to do our rollable stuff and i'm going to consider burgers a rollable stuff so 63 burgers for the mini me oh yeah four levels all into health and we didn't even get half a heart great now we have 24 eggs um i want a squid egg Oh, never mind. I don't want a squid egg. We have three. I'm just kind of stupid. So I'm going to turn all of these into hostile eggs because I imagine we have a lot of eternal souls. Yeah, we have 250 eternal souls. Uh, the reason we're doing more hostile eggs is because, I mean, why wouldn't we? We still have eternal souls after that? Oh my god, we have 150. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping for a wither. A wither would be awesome. Um, I I guess a wither is really all. Oh, uh, something that produces emeralds would be nice. Do you produce emeralds? I just heard a cat. Ooh, you were a little greedy guy. All right. I'll name you in the next episode. Uh, you know what? I may as well just... I saw a creeper in there. Hey, is that a wither? <gasps> I think it is. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's quite lucky. All right. And another Enderman. Oh, I was hoping for that. More strays, get out of here. More Creepers, yes. Ooh, a Ravager. That probably drops nothing, but that's fun to have. Uh, another Blaze is very good. Another Enderman, another Creeper. Zombified Piglin. That's actually pretty good because I believe they will drop gold stuff as well. Not that we need more gold, but it'd be cool to have. Uh, husk, I don't care. Stray, I don't care. Zombie, I don't care. Spider, 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 drowned, whatever. Okay, yes! Wah! All right, you're going to go into the to-do, and you guys are going to go into the to-do. I still have to make a wither one, a slime one, and a witch one. Now I need a piglin one, and uh, well, the wither skeleton is kind of a, or the wither is kind of a own caliber, but let's get these other eggs in their home. Blaze, Enderman, Creeper. Well, we have 2,300 shards to work with. Let's see if we can get two knowledge stars. You first. All right, now we're going to bid low. Uh, nope. Let's see. Well, that was a lot of soul shard trading. We got a lot of interesting stuff. I'm going to roll that sword instantly. It's unfortunate that we did not get uh, anything to do with knowledge, but 2,000 soul shards, nothing goes a long way. And that was a great, great, great random roll. Oh, it's actually not a half bad sword. And I killed the scrapping potential. Whoa! 